what it is, people? I'm back again. It's your boy, Coach G. Um, so, you know, that, that schedule, like, it's getting hard. It's, it's hard to manage schedules. Like, I suck at managing schedules. But you know what? I felt like I left some stuff off about, like, cheating because of a lot of people. And um, not only that, I want to talk about, like, big subject which is like because I I try to go for the younger audience like the real younger audience like that are like in high school doing 16 17 or like 13 14 the, the yeah the age where everybody's like let's go find ourselves we we don't understand what the fuck we're doing anymore my life's terrible my parents don't give me an Xbox all that shit so And yes, I'm smoking and blunt because this is like the most uncomfortable subject for me because like I experienced this. So, um, anxiety and bullying are really fucking big. Like, when you're in school, you're gonna come across like some general real ass issues. Um, it can start as early as elementary school where you find out where you're trying to fit in because everybody has a group they're trying to fit in. A lot of people in high school try to go be someone's uh, best friend or they try to do some shit that's like not really good for them. Um, an example, they'll go out to parties. They'll get peer pressure really easily because they're trying to fit up to these, uh, these icons, these cool kids as they're called sometimes or the popular people and all that. In reality, that shit really doesn't matter. Like, the one thing that's going to matter to, like, whether you're male or female is how happy are you in the situation. So, let's say this. Um, you're hanging out with a chick named Jessica, and you're another female, and you're trying to, like, go be friends with Jessica because Jessica's a popular kid. So, you want to, like, hang out with her because you're trying to talk to her. In most cases, if you're so uncomfortable in your own self, when you go talk to her, she's going to probably say, I don't want to hang out with you, or I don't think you're attractive, or some, something like that. They make up some excuse about how they're more special than you, and that's not the case. That's not ever the case. The case is usually, like, they're just as freaked out. They're, they're usually, like, just dicks, like, they're, because they're usually just afraid about branching off from their... Their existence. They've, if you're really popular in high school, you've always had a existence of everything's been like great for me. I've had tons of girlfriends. I've had tons of boyfriends. I've done this. I smoked weed. I've gotten iPhones. I got a Lambo for my blah 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 blah. You're like everything's great. If you're coming from someone who's like had to struggle in high school to graduate and like do all this grand crap, chick. The possibility, I'm not joking, like, I'm not being kind of, like, biased here, but usually the nigga who has to work hard to get his shit is always going to be more successful than the nigga who just got everything given to him. Like, to be honest, if, let's say this, this is a very, this is a, this is a really good one, because, like, um, uh, how should I say this? I can't say that because it's political. <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, I'm looking for an example. I don't know right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, what does everybody usually hate about, like, the so-called, like, let's just go fuck boys. I don't know. Shit, I don't have an example. This is the first time. I really don't have an example. Think of one later. <laughs> I don't have an example right now. I'm sorry. Um, like, this, in situations... Oh, uh, thank you. The fucking movie, uh, Coach Carter. Thank you. That that's like that's a good example. Like all those kids have like were some of them were really popular, and then uh, they're just all a lot of them are fucking like the underdogs or whatever. Or another good example is fucking um the other guys. That's a great example. Like. Walt Walbert's character, like, fucking worked up for shit and everything, but, like, the Dwayne Johnson, which it could be represented as popular kids, they just came in and just did shit. Like, the popular kids just fucking did jack shit and just were, like, the grand heroes of the situation. That's kind of, like, the best way I could represent it. Like, 
Walt Walver and fucking Will Ferrell's character is like doing all the grunt work, but it seemed like they want they wanted to be like the fucking the Dwayne Johnson. He, they want to be them. They want to be the guys that just got all the fame and glory. That's kind of what high school is like. You're basically trying to fit in where you can have the fame and glory that you always dreamt of that you didn't have in elementary school. When in reality, you don't need that shit. Because when you really think about it, fucking um, popular, popularity really doesn't get you shit. Like, you could be like the fucking prom queen in high school, but I guarantee that nerd is going to finally realize that he's like, I don't need... To have what you people, what the fucking popular kids had, and he's gonna work on himself, and I guarantee he's gonna be more popular than you. Usually, those nerds are the ones that actually run the businesses you're trying to work for. That's the sad truth, but they become the most successful ones because they didn't have all that shit given to them. They struggle with it. It's like that. My case, I really didn't have to struggle for that shit. One, because I already knew what I wanted. I was like, I want to fuck bitches. <laughs> my, my fucking high school life was already predetermined. I was like, I'm going to have sex with chicks. I successfully did that. <laughs> There's nothing else. Like, you basically, when you're in high school or whatever school you're in, let's say college too, you just set a goal and you just say, fuck everybody and go for it. My goal is I'm trying to like be a big YouTuber. So I'm talking to you guys every night. I'm actually expressing what I'm trying to do. When you're dealing with bullies, I guarantee you, this is all bullies are too. And I'm pretty sure I said this before, but like I felt like just talking to a couple of people, they told me about some shit. So I kind of had to talk about it again. Um, when you're bullied, you're there. It's just a bunch of dicks. Like that's the best way I can play this. Like, <laughs> sorry. Before, when I talked about it, I just said, oh, you just have two options. But I didn't realize, like, now it's way more serious than when I was in high school. Like, that was weird. I didn't get bullied in high school. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be serious about this, but I didn't get bullied in high school. Like, everybody just, like, I'm not joking. Because I was black, I just fit in. Let's be real, like, when you're black, you fit in everywhere. It really don't matter, unless you're, like, unless you're, like, if you don't fit in with black people, you can go for the fucking Mexicans, like, <laughs> you don't fit in the mess. you fit in somewhere, man. You fit in with the nerds, you fit in with the, you fit in somewhere in this, in this optical, like, being black, Asian, too, like, Asians, you a bad Asian, bitch, you fit in, <laughs> but, like, uh, you just fit in, bro, like, that's really it, but, like, for the, this is more catered to the people who are just like, I cannot handle my life anymore. If little Susie doesn't invite me to her party, I will straight up die. This is catered to them. So, pretty much why you feel these people, the, these idols or popular kids or shit is because they have what you know. Because let's be honest. If... Let's say you're a girl and you're like, I want to have a fat ass like Iggy Azalea or I want to be as attractive as fucking um, Nia Long, Zendaya, Emma Stone, fucking, it's another bad bitch. Mariah Carey's pretty bad. <laughs> Ooh. Gabrielle Union, yeah, shit, that's a bad bitch. Gabrielle Union, yeah. Gabrielle Union. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's say, like, you're trying to be as popular as, man, I'm itchy as hell. God damn. I feel like this is why I don't smoke, man. Like, I be tripping. I be turning to smoke every day. <laughs> but, like, if you're trying to be a bad, like, be one of the most attractive people, stop. Just stop. It's not going to happen. You want to know what makes you attractive? This is what makes you attractive. This, I'm telling you, this is the best way to make you attractive. And honestly, now, like, this is the best, like, way I can explain it because I actually thought this too. So, this is a very good example. The big, the biggest phrase is called nice guys finish last. Okay. When you're, try when you're facing a bully, okay, this is what it is. You're always trying to, like, be nice as shit to the person. You're always like, because you're not trying to get in conflict. You're not trying to get bullied. You're trying to like avoid conflict because you want to happy, ha happy. Okay, that shit doesn't exist. All right, 
this is a legit like I have to rephrase this because like I'm talking more to a girl now. So when you're when you're a girl and you're getting bullied, this is really what it is. The girls that are bullying you, they see you as an easy target because you're not putting in you have no fucking uh tone in your voice. Like the reason like those really buff fucking people in school or like the fat kids. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't say fat. The reason these really scrawny kids or the overweight kids get bullied is because they look easy. Okay, the reason you see these these guys who really don't give a shit, like the ones that are like popular, the, yeah, that's a good example. The ones that are like really bulky and all that shit, like let's say, good way, in high school a lot of girls sleep around because they want to be appreciated, they want to be accepted, so they figure like, if I have sex with this dude, I can get popularity. It's it's always been the same. Even fucking rap rapping or Instagram models. They've always just said, fuck it, I'm gonna do something really easy so I can get next to this person. It's just how it is. The same di the difference in high school is like people believe that like it's some type of object you can tame. Popularity is like hard as shit to attain. And that's not the case. It's really not. Popularity is easy as shit to attain. It's just you kind of have to like fucking think about what do I want? How do I want to be popular? How can I get it? Okay. I just ran off topic about bullying, but I figure I talk about popularity in high school since like kids are going in high school next month. So I'll be catering most of my shit to like high school over college because college is easy. Like, you, your plan is to get laid, <laughs> get high, graduate, and fuck a lot of bitches. And if you're a chick, your plan is to make the, go to a sorority, have a bunch of sorority friends, pledge and all this extra shit, study, basically go to a bunch of parties, say I had a good time in college, and find some guy you like and move on. See where you go from there. That's it. You figure the rest of the shit later on in life. But that's pretty much your whole point in college. You're supposed to fuck a lot, drink a lot, smoke a lot, study a lot, work a lot, and graduate. That's all That's all you do in college, in college. And you fill in the fucking extra. That's really it. In high school, you're, you're four years, you're with the same fucking people for four years. So you pretty much, is it's down to simple. Can you find your group of friends that will last for four years? Reason a lot of stereotypes like nerds fit together because nerds talk about games. Okay, you're automatically somewhat going to be a nerd still in somewhere in someone's life, even in 2017, we have nerds. There's always, there's always some nerd they call nerd. I wasn't in. I said, fuck that. Like, I really probably should tell that. I'll do that next video. <laughs> I will do that next video. I'll make a note of that, tell some couple stories dealing with shit I did with in high school. Like, I, I really gotta start telling stories, man. I had a lot of shit happen in high school. I don't know why. Like, I didn't even sell drugs, really. <laughs> like, I just got caught in a lot of uncomfortable shit, and I don't know why. Like, it was terrible. Maybe that's why I am me today. Um, but, like, just pretty much, like, I have no idea what the fuck I was talking about. I lost all track of it. I don't know. <laughs> This is bad. I this is I'ma post this and people are gonna be like, this nigga really forget what he was talking about? Yes I did. Yes I did. Um yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bullying, yeah, so we jumped back to that. Um pretty much like Overall, I'm sorry, I really forgot about what the fuck I was going to say about bullying. Oh, yeah. Um, so, pretty much, like, whatever it is, you when you're getting bullied, whatever, however you handle it, just stop being nice. That's why they, that's why they pick on you, because you're scrawny. They think you're easy, because you can't defend yourself. And you're like, that's why I call a lot of emo kids, or the people that are really skinny and shit, they say they're anorexic. That's not really true. I don't know if that's true. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like a lot of people aren't interested. I really think these people just have a fucking eating disorder. Some of these are just like, I can't gain weight. And, like, 
every time you talk about these these subjects are really touchy because if you don't say the right shit about it, they're gonna flip the fuck out. They're always gonna be like this. I just realized this light right here, that is fucking bright. Like <laughs> I'm gonna get so much shit for this. They're gonna be like, nigga, why is your light so bright? Oh my god. What is wrong? <laughs> like, but Either or, see, I make everything a joke. That's why they call it the people like us are class crowns, because we make everything a joke. Even in something severe as this, I'm always going to try to make it funny so everybody's comfortable. Like, this is a really good example, and this relates to more of bullying slash cheating. So, like, I feel these all come together just like cheating, bullying, and popularity kind of go together because usually, like, people cheat because they don't feel appreciated. People bully because they feel misunderstood, and people want to be popular so they can get appreciated. <laughs> like it, it works like that. You get bullied because you're mis because you feel like you. People bully because they feel like no one understands them, and my life's terrible, and I want to I want to inflict pain on other people because I'm insecure about my own personality. Okay. People cheat because I'm insecure about if this person loves me. I don't know why he doesn't treat me like how he's supposed to, I don't know why she doesn't do this, she doesn't do that. It really goes to the fact of like this, you both feel insecure, you just want to fuck with other people because they feel like they provide what your relationship did not. That's the honest truth. Like, there are big, now I'm, not, I'm saying that's the basis of cheating, I'm, from what I've learned. This is, I'm only 18, so like, do not, do not fault me, I don't know that much, I'm 18, I can still grow. In 10 years, if I'm still doing YouTube, I hope not, because I hope I'm getting some type of pussy. <laughs> like, after this year, I'm hoping maybe some chick on online is like, yo, I'll slide in your DMs, like, of age, because, you know, I ain't trying to get line maker out here. People would be like, yo, you see that? Boy, Koshi was messing around with a bad 14 <laughs> I'm serious. I want to go out like Richard Pryor's dad and be like, fucking with a bad one. I want, I want to go out like comedians. It's like overdosed on happiness. Like, they just be overdosed and shit. Like, yeah. But like, that's just really... So, alright. Enough rambling. I'm a, like, I really didn't want to tell a story because like, I feel like no one... Like, I don't want to make these videos long because I feel like no one... After a while, I lose, I lose, fuck, you guys just like, or just like, God, he stumbles so much. God, he doesn't speak clearly. Fuck this guy. Well, yeah, that's true. See, I roast myself. I roast myself because, like, that that's how I deal with my insecurities. I bring them out. I'm like, hey, if I don't make me laugh, <laughs> who's going to laugh? <laughs> that's why I make myself laugh. Like, on some real shit, um, there was a time I was bullied, I guess, I, I don't know what to call it, I call it picked on. Man, I'm serious, all y'all, all niggas can really pick on me for is, my voice is high-pitched. That's all niggas got on me. <laughs> the reason I say that is because... I don't care about anything else. Like, I really don't. Like, if my girlfriend dumps me, if, like, women stop trying to have sex with me, there's porn. I don't care. Like, man, I'm happy with being lonely. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm doing this to make me laugh. It helps you guys. I'm hoping it provides me views. I like watching the views go up. That's that's entertaining to me. I'm just like, wow, 28 people watching. That's just entertaining. When I get over two views, I'm like... Man, I'm out there making people, people are starting to listen. Like, I don't, because that's what I say every time. I don't even can pick, I don't even care about subscribers, man. Like, it's cool if I get them, but I'm happy people are watching me. Like, if you watch two seconds of me, I'm like, fuck yeah. That's how you should be. That's, that's really how you should be. Like, if people are, are, people are, sorry, if people are fucking giving you attention, you have achieved your goal. I'm telling you right now. That's the best way to describe bullying. This nigga's fucking with you because he has nothing else in his life. <laughs> this woman cheated on you because she's like, this is gonna fuck his life over if I cheat on him. If you really stop giving a shit, like, 
what is this really going to be? Was this like six hours, like seven hours in high school? Like, you can't say for seven hours, go fuck yourself to everybody that you're not friends with. These girls you ain't fucking with. If your girlfriend's sucking your dick and is happy with you, is feeding you, then why are you trying to get other bitches to be cool with you? It don't matter, nigga. Like, you got one chick fucking with you. If she leaves, then go find another one. Dude, it's not that e It's not that hard. It's not like fucking... <laughs> I'm so animate at night. Like, this is fucking 1220 in the morning. I'm just, you know, loud as shit. These walls are thin. My neighbor is probably like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? <laughs> this nigga talks to himself at night. But, like, see, like, I'm real. Like, I'll, I'll be real, like... I will roast the shit out of me. The truth is, I'm insecure. I'm not funny. I know I'm not funny. I'm fucking retarded sometimes. Like, I'm slow. I don't even edit my own videos. I have a hard time remembering to shout people out. I don't know why. I work at a shitty job. Like, okay, I don't have a car. I walk. I skateboard to school. Like, I'm broke half the time. And you know what? You know what the sad, honest truth about it is. I'm slightly half depressed and crazy all the time, but you know what helps? Like, I don't give a shit. I move on. I continue through life. That's how you handle certain things. You just move on and continue through life. Now, I say all that to bring you to the story. Okay, I wanted to talk about cheating. I'll tell you the other, the other story later, but the main thing cheating is this. Like, I'm a... Bring this to a sum because I'm only doing like maybe 20. This man's the video is only gonna be 30 minutes because I don't want people to be like, "Holy shit, he won't shut the fuck up." He's been talking for an hour straight. Okay, but um, like, I, I and then like the whole entire time, some of this time I really I'm not confident, but like, I don't like talking about this. Okay, again, I talk a lot about my ex, and I think I told some story about what happened between me and her. The honest truth is, this is the honest truth. Man, I was unhappy. Okay, this is the honest truth. So, yeah, I cheated. I was unhappy. I didn't I didn't find who I wanted. She didn't turn out to be who I am, what I wanted, and she didn't. We argued a lot. We said some shit. We did some shit. And I went to the next person. Okay. Do I feel like cheating was right? Now, I don't feel cheating was that. I feel like I did all the wrong shit. I feel like I wasn't there for her enough. I feel like I'm, I just, like, wasn't old enough. I did, wasn't mature. Problem was, like, <clears throat> there was age difference. I'm not going to tell y'all the ages because I'm not trying to get, like, trying to get, like, please call me. Like, <laughs> I'm not a pedophile. So, I, I'm not, like, she may have been older. She may, no, I'm not going to. No, she's the she. So she won't. If she watches the video, she comes across this maybe in the next five years and like, oh my god, he talked about this. Truth is, really, she said some stuff I didn't appreciate, and we got in an argument, and shit happened, and we broke up. Okay, I missed the shit out of her because that was the best part of me. That was honestly the best part of me. We were together for a pretty fucking long time. That was the best part of me. I shouldn't have cheated, and it was wrong. Yes. I'm not saying what I did was right at all. I'm, however, I'm not saying what she did everything correct, but I did hurt her. I didn't do the right thing. I physically had a hard time. Like, she, we just kept arguing a lot. And I don't feel when you're, when you're arguing so much, I don't feel you should stay together. I don't feel like, not my striking nerve with a lot of people. A lot of people feel like they can get back together with a person after a while. That's not the case. They don't change. A lot of people don't can change after a small after a long time. But in like, if y'all break up and then you're dating a month later, what do you think really changed in the month? I get like if you're dating a year later because he's had a year to change. But after a month, you're gonna be butt hurt if you get back together. You're still gonna be hurt because you feel like this person dissed you. You feel like this person didn't do everything he said he would do. Um. <clears throat> When I cheated, I felt like she just drained the fucking life out of me. I felt like she didn't do what she was supposed to. I'm not bashing her. It's just she didn't make me feel like my effort was enough. And that's just how it was. I 
I would talk to her every night. We had fun. We did a lot of stuff. We voice chat and whatever. It was cool. We hung out and perfect. Like, because again, a lot of my relationships, I don't, they started online because it's easier for me to talk to someone online than it is in person. But that's just because, like, it's just, I have a problem because I was homeschooled. So I done a lot of shit online. Now, I went to a lot of high schools and fucked shit up because, you know, I was, an, I was a terrible child. But, like, I was homeschooled most of the time because, like, my parents felt like our school system didn't do enough. So, where I was, where I was living in. And it, it has, it makes me incredibly, like, online, I'm better, which is why I kind of started doing YouTube because I'm used to this. It's what the fuck I'm used to. I'm used to fucking talking to people online. I'm not used to talking on camera because, like... I don't know if people are going to listen. I don't know if this is going to be, like, good. But, like, online is just easier for me. I can be a personality I've never but been. Like, this whole Koshi G shit, this is crazy. Like, I don't feel I've never been this person. But he is kind of manifested into, like, my life stories being told through this personality that can get me. And it's great. Um, but as far as, like, yeah, going back to cheating, like, it's just... You just gotta accept the fact that maybe you're not meant to be. Maybe you and this person aren't meant to be like the Pacific perfect couple. You're not both. She's not supposed to be your Cinderella. Like she's not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be her Prince Charming. He's not supposed to be your Cinderella. Yeah, exactly. She's not supposed to be your Cinderella, and he's not supposed to be your Prince Charming. It works like that. You just gotta let stuff go. Do not fucking say the person is a bitch like I did. I regret that. I'm sorry that was not the right way to say the shit. I was angry and I probably shouldn't have said that. I'm really probably planning to take that video down because what I said about her was pretty fucked up. That was not that was not very professional and gentleman like me. What the truth is like I just I fucked up a lot and I was very immature. And if she ever sees this, I just want to know I'm sorry. I didn't say what I was supposed to say. But on the other hand, I don't take shit from anybody. So, like, rather, rather she, uh, rather what happened is it just is. But, like, this has gone on pretty long. But, um, yeah, that's basically cheating. I, it's a little sketchy because I, I should go into more of it. But, like, as time goes on, I'll start making more of these videos, but, like, again, maybe I should, I'm probably going to, I don't know, I'm experiencing life, I'm learning, I, just, it, it's kind of like, the one thing you should try to do in every relationship, I feel, now, this is kind of like just what I say to everybody, when you try to look up how the positive, how you guys got there. When you break up, think of how you got there. Don't don't be like it's her fault, his fault. Think about what what steps happened to get you to this place. What did you say or do to make them think that they weren't meant to be with you? When you accept that what you did was wrong and that you and in your there's some fault in the relationship, is some of yours and some of hers. 50-50. It breaks down like. I did stuff to make her upset, and she did stuff to make me upset, but we can grow from this. Then I would say, okay, yeah, try to make it work again. But if you're like, it's his fault, because that's what I fucking hated about her. Her friend just kept saying, it's my fault, so I just said, I'm out. And it ended in her being, being hurt and me looking like a jackass because I didn't make the steps to prepare the perfect shit for her. Um, but, yeah, that's all, right. that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't boring. I'm sorry for talking in, like, 30 minutes long. I hope it helps some people, because I do this to help. I don't do this just to fucking rant my mouth. I do this to give people life experience of what I've had, and I know... I do this for a lot of high schoolers because I used to be in high school and I was, I every year I know it gets more and it gets harder and harder for people because they're like, I don't understand why this isn't going my way or how could they do this. But like, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
like, comment, subscribe if you found it informational. Maybe you want to hear more. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, I honestly like may do another video date. That's because like I have to do a bunch of shit this week. So like I'm 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 trying to do videos every day, but like this takes a lot, and like I have to like. Our electric bill is probably going to be a problem. That's why I don't usually do as many videos as I do. But like, um, if y'all want to give your, y'all want to share this with your friends and be like, "Yo, give my boy a shout out because he's poor and he's be like saving nigga foundation. <laughs> Donate one dollar to save a nigga foundation. <laughs> Help your boy get a camera, maybe some better equipment." Maybe y'all give your boy some, send y'all some bad bitches. Hookers are welcome as parents. <laughs> but nah, on all serious occasion, don't, don't do anything like these crazy kids are doing. Don't do anything like these great mass shootings. Don't do any of that. Love everyone. Be positive. Love everybody. Everybody is very important. Like, if you break up with that person, love them anyway. Love them unconditionally. You let them know it's okay. I, I understand. Be like, it was some of it was my fault too. I'm trying to be there. Can we still be friends? If they say no, then go ahead and be like, okay, understand. You, I hope you have a wonderful life. We don't have to talk anymore. I understand. Don't be like, well, then fuck you, bitch. <laughs> like, I'm serious. That's what a lot of dudes do. They're like, no, then fuck you, bitch. And I just realized, like, I really regret making some of the videos I've done on this channel because they're very fucked up and they're not that. I was a dick. I'm a, like, that's just real honest. I was a dick to like some of the people in these videos I talked about and that's just it. And I want to say I'm sorry if you're watching this. I hope you forgive me. I did not mean to say what I said. And yeah, to my, uh, to a lot of the girls I dated, I do miss y'all. Y'all have helped me start this channel and you helped me think but like it sucks sometimes because like if I accepted my fault we could have stuck together but yeah but that's just that's just me you know that's just life you gotta move on you gotta you gotta accept some relationships are meant to end but it's all gotta be love in the end that's it love conquers all that's what they say but love also blinds you so um I'll see you guys in the next video um I'm attempt at making a thumbnail <laughs> for this video. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. <laughs> it's gonna, I don't think this is gonna be good. I never made thumbnails. It's gonna be bad, but you know, you it's time for me to try. Um Yeah, but um this is a long video, so I'm gonna end this. Uh yeah, this being your boy, Koshi G, uh you you guys already know. I keep saying like, comment, subscribe. God damn it, I gotta start having this shit. Like whatever. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Um, like again, second video is gonna be out. Yeah, second video is gonna be out probably later today. But yeah, it's thirty four. This is running on long. Now. But yeah, uh, do all the jizz and. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know what to do. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.